Hey guys, this is Harry from Twitter. I get a lot of requests to teach Faroese and the videos I've been making on language lately have been relatively popular. Learning a new language is an immense task, so where to start? I don't want to teach you simple common phrases. I want to give you a more technical understanding of the language and it'll take many, many videos. But the first one I want to do about a very useful yet simple part of the language, numbers. Faroese is the only of the Nordic languages that counts in the neuter. All other Nordic languages of Germanic descent count in the masculine, that is, if they have retained it. Danish, Swedish and some Norwegian dialects have what they call common gender and neuter, so effectively two grammatical genders, and they can inflect the number one to neuter or common gender. In Icelandic, one through four can be inflected to the three genders and the four cases, as it was in Old Norse. In Faroese, the first three numbers can be inflected to our three grammatical genders and the four grammatical cases. In Old Norse, abstract counting was done in the masculine as well. Why Faroese turned to neuter, I don't know. That could be an interesting topic to explore. So, Faroese basic numbers 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 8, 9, 10. Like I said, the first three numbers can be inflected to gender and case. All nouns in Faroese come with a grammatical gender, even when there's no logic to it, like in Icelandic and German. The Faroese word for island, oj, for example, is feminine. The Faroese word for storm, stormer, is masculine. And the word for country, land, is neuter. Eitt land, tvei land, trui land. Ein oj, tvær ojar, trujar ojar. Ein stormer, tvær stormar, trujar stormar. The accusative, the only two differences compared to the nominative are the feminine one with an added a and the masculine three where the i goes to ja. The dative, almost all the same except for the feminine one, einare, compared to the neuter and masculine, einon. The Faroese dative final m is pronounced n. Here's a sentence example of how it might work. Tveir stormar oito tver ochar ui tveimon lonto. Two storms destroyed two islands in two countries. Stormer is subject in the nominative, ochar is the object in the accusative, and ui meaning in takes the dative in this sentence. That's why the two goes to tveir, tver, and tveimon. The genitive, the genders are all the same. This grammatical case is increasingly unusual in everyday Faroese speech. For a genitive example, we need to go to some slightly archaic language. It is not something you hear in everyday Faroese, but you should learn it nonetheless. It's more common in balladry, poetry and sayings. Tia skal mitlun vina. It should be silent between two friends, meaning something like friends shouldn't tell tales about one another. Viner, meaning friend, is masculine, here in the genitive plural form vina, and the two follows the declension of viner to genitive, tvecha in this case, because mitlon, the Faroese word for between, traditionally takes the genitive. Notice also that the double L is pronounced dl. Carrying on with the basic numbers from 11 to 19, etlevo, tolv, tretan, fjurtan, fimtan, sextan, seichan, achan, nuichan. Counting through the 20s, chuo, Aino chuo, tveju chuo, truju chuo, fuiru chuo, fimu chuo, sexu chuo, sheju chuo, otu chuo, nuju chuo. The reason it's aino chuo and not the neuter aito chuo is that we have more or less loaned the Danish system for counting between 20 and 100. So here it is in Danish common gender and not the otherwise regular Faroese counting neuter. The tens up to 90, chuo, tretvo, fjorde, haltrush, trush, halfjesh, fush. Holfems. Now here's something really interesting and unnecessarily complicated. Haltrush comes from the old Danish halv tredje sinds tyve, meaning half third time twenty. Twice twenty, that's forty, and the third time you add half twenty, meaning ten, and that adds up to fifty. Sixty, trush, short for old Danish tre sinds tyve, meaning three times twenty. Seventy, holfjesh, short for halv fjerde sinds tyve, half fourth time 20, same logic as with 50, 80, fursh, fire sinds tyve, four times 20, 90, halfems, halv femte sinds tyve, half fifth time 20. In this system, the ones come before the tens, 21, that is, aino literally one and 20. 
I imagine this system is a nightmare for foreigners to learn, but honestly, even though it's a Danish loan, it feels like my mother tongue, because this is all I've heard used, except from a few Faroese enthusiast teachers, which I would support, by the way, but that doesn't change the fact. There is an older and much simpler Faroese system, but seldom used in daily speech. And it is like the Icelandic and Norwegian systems, where 30 is 30, 40 is 40, 50 is 50, 60 is 60, 70 is 80, 80 is 80, 90 is 90. And the ones come after the tens in this system, so 91, 92, 93 and so forth, just like the English system. Some examples of random numbers in the common system, 92, In the traditional Faroese, 29, 33, Even though I'd like to use this traditional Faroese system, I must admit it doesn't feel very natural. So, 100, 200, 300, 400, not 400, the A at the end of 400 falls out. 500, 600, 600, 800, no A. 900, the U falls out as well. 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, 6000, 7000, 8000, 9000. Notice that the vowel at the end of 4, 8 and 9 doesn't fall away like with 100. 1100, 1200, 1300, 1400, 1500, 1600, 1700, 1800, 1900. You could carry on with this through the higher tens, but the closer you get to 10,000, the more unusual it sounds. For example, 2200, 6400, 3400, 9500. You can also call these numbers 2200, 4600, 8300, 9900. Like I said, the closer you get to 10,000, the more common the latter would be. I suppose this is very similar to English. Some random higher numbers. 2000, 13,500, 100,000, 1 million, 1 milliard, 1 billion, 1 billiard. 90 billiard, 345 billion, 621 milliard, milliard is feminine, 990 million, 666,008. That's the Faroese number system. I've not covered ordinals or distributive numbers, hopefully in a soon to come video. Thanks to my patrons on Patreon. They are Benny Olson, Greg Stock, Tuesday Publishing, Erika Wareski, Devin Bergman, Graham Peebles, Heidar Jonsson, Juan Gonzalez, Michael Lewandowski, Mike Heinz, and Scott. Like, subscribe, click the little bell, leave comments and questions, you know how it works. And please go to patreon.com slash and see what you can do to help me. Cheers, see you next time.